Hi Adam, I um, understand that you uh, work for the uh, Cumdi Community Shop, uh, which is, uh, from what I know, I was speaking to people around here that say that it's, it's basically the heart of the community around here. Yeah, um, so. And you've not been here long yourself, um, but no. you've, you've got an interest in this place because um, because it, it is the heart of the community uh, and you, you know you, you want to help the community uh, as much as you can and be very passionate about it. Could you explain a little bit more about the place? Yeah certainly. Um, uh, as you said I'm, I'm recently, I've just recently been employed as uh, the community business development uh, manager for uh, Cumdithus Cumdi, right. uh, which is the not-for-profit organisation that runs and manages uh, the the resources in the village. Uh, the, this particular building is uh, Taban Kumdi, uh, which is made up of uh, the, the pub and uh, the shop and the post office. Um, so the three of them together uh, work not for profit, staffed by volunteers, um, and they provide a, a very valuable service to a rural community. And all the volunteers are local to the community? Yes, they yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, uh, they're made up of uh, retired individuals, um, young people, um, parents with uh, young parents with children. Um, basically, any, anybody who can spare any time uh, to, to help out, Fantastic. and again, in, in whatever way they can want to help out as well. It's not just working in a shop. It, it could be, you know, helping helping out with the, the community events and uh, even something as simple as putting a newsletter together or updating the website. Right, right, okay. So you're, you're actually after more volunteers right now as well, are you? Always, yes. Yeah, yeah, and, um, fantastic. I, I think in order for anything to work uh, sustainably, it, it needs to be worked locally. Um, while, you know, it's, it's great to be able to pay staff all the time, um, if you don't have the money coming in, mm. uh, you, you don't, and you don't have the people there to, to actually run it as well. Yeah, because it's quite, it's quite a small shop, it doesn't have a huge turnover of, of, of capital, does it? No, I mean, um, the, the, turnover, the, the turnover for the shop is uh, less than 25,000 per Yeah, so it's pretty small. Um, the turnover for, a put, for the pub is slightly more, but again, it's, it's not, you know, we're not talking millions mm. of pounds. Yeah. Um, but again, it's, it's a valuable resource, it's needed in the community, and, and it very, very much helps to bring people together in the community as well. Yeah, I mean, this place is quite unusual in that, in that respect, because not only has it been kept pretty much as it was, or as close to as you can get, um, it still pretty much operates in the same sort of way with the pub and you've got the shop and the post office which is kind of, it's been around for a very long time since the 1800s hasn't it? Yeah that's correct. And it's gone through different phases. Um, I believe National Trust now obviously they basically have taken hold of it and, and are kind of being custodians of it. Um, but it's been left to run by the Cumbia Association. Yes, um, I mean, to make uh, sure. It I mean, historically, I mean, the, the buildings had uh, many and various owners, um, but certainly since around 2000, uh, National Trust uh, have taken responsibility for the for the management and the and the upkeep of the the building itself, uh, which consists of the, um, the chapel uh, next to us here, um, the actual. Uh, uh, the, the actual terrace uh, building itself, mm. uh, which comprises three holiday let cottages, uh, which are available through National Trust. And those cottages, I think, from what I know, is they, they actually feed some of the money from those lets back into the project. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, ev everything that is everything that operates within the within this terrace. A uh, percentage of that, 20%, usually goes back into the community. Yeah. Um, so that way we can we can guarantee that that the money is staying locally. Um, what about people from uh, TP Valley, which is just a couple of miles from here? Do they, do they have much involvement with this project? Um, yeah. So I mean, again, you know, people people have involvement in in different ways. Um, uh, you know, so. Some, everything from you know coming in and, and uh, you know getting money out over the counter in the post office, um, you know buying local sort of um, uh, you know, groceries and, and shopping, uh, and also uh, like Friday night uh, this week we've got a folk night uh, in, the, mm. in the tavern, uh, and part of that uh, you know the, there's a big group um, from Tupi Valley uh, called Jim Jams. Uh, so they, they, they run a, a jam night up there once a, once a week. 
So they're coming down this Friday, so we'll, we'll have them there and you know, we should have a, a good party. Excellent, excellent. And so the, these nights, they quite, happen quite a lot and they're also part and parcel of the community and, and, and everything? Yes, I mean, uh, I mean there's, there's regular events such as uh, a book club, uh, there's a folk, club, a folk night. Uh, we've also got a kitchen, uh, a good kitchen facility here as part of the building. Um, again, that, that service is available for anybody that wants to use it or to hire it or again to, to just put a community event on. Right, fantastic. And what, what are the plans for the future for this place? I understand you're obviously you're, you're quite new, uh, you've just taken over uh, as you said earlier on. Um, what, what are your plans for the future for this, for this project? Uh, great. Um, I, I think, uh, uh, I mean as, we, as we've said, you know, the, this is a beautiful spot. It's, uh, it's, uh, it, a very very interesting building. Um, the, the facilities we currently provide are very well used by the community. However, so now we're this is a three-story building. Um, we, we currently use probably about 30-40% uh, of the, the total use of the building. Right. Um, <clears throat> there's currently some a free broadband provision that we offer here uh, with a community computer uh, and a printer. Uh, I'd like to develop that a lot more. Um, so again, we can do things like this where we're videoing and recording, uh, we can use the facilities there, then we can upload them to the internet yeah. and make them available around the world. Yeah. Um, with regards to the music, the, the folk night is going on on Friday, um, but I, I'm also involved with uh, festivals um, uh, as well, I've been running them on and off for about 20 years. Uh, so there's a there's a new festivals project uh, which we're in the process of developing, right. where we're looking to try and encourage more community uh, small scale uh, events and, and community festivals. Right. Okay. Um, so the, the facilities. I mean, are you are you looking to start uh, maybe a, a, an internet cafe or something like that with regards to the certainly. I mean, I, I've already identified uh, one potential space within the building. Um, Currently, just being used for storage. Yeah. Um, there's uh, some ongoing work with the Welsh Assembly Government at the moment, at looking at broadband support. Because uh, at the moment, again, with rural areas, uh, one of the downsides is you, you've got very low uh, provision of internet. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. So around here, it's very much still dial-up. I mean, uh, yeah. they've just got over the old um, uh, candle and, uh, and, and pen and paper and things. So, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's very much uh, looking at you know how we can develop new technology, how we can reuse existing facilities, but but doing it in a way that's very much community-driven, community driven, community community oriented. Yeah, I think it's very important. And sustainable. Yeah, so I think it's very important that community uh, does does stick together, and obviously, a place like this is is the perfect way of doing it, really. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, when it's gone, it's gone. Uh, you know, I mean, it's very, very difficult. If if a community loses a facility, um, it's very difficult to try and reintroduce that facility. Yeah. Um, what we need to do is uh, this is a, a flagship example. It's how we can take an existing building. Um, how we can maintain it uh, in partnership with with other organisations mm. um, and the community, very much community-driven um, uh, initiative. So we we look at how we can develop new micro enterprises. We look at how we can provide facilities to to encourage people to to be more entrepreneurial, to to develop skills and mm. training and. And, and you encourage uh, lo lo local people to produce local goods and things like that as well, you know, as, as part of it. This is it. I mean, yeah. you know, it, it's all well and good talking about sustainable development and how we're going to meet the needs of the present. Uh, but if we can't do it at a local level, we're never going to ever going to achieve it at a, at a national or an international level. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, one last thing, obviously, uh, how, how would we get in contact with uh, the association or, or Comd itself? Uh, is there a website that we can...? There is indeed, um, which uh, again the website has been developed over quite a few years by uh, by volunteers. Um, so the, the website is www.comd.com. Could you spell that out for us? Yes, and please. it's uh, c-y-m-d-u.com. Right, okay, so brilliant. Comd.com. And we've also just in the process of setting up a, a Facebook page, um, uh, and the and some new email addresses, and and try and 
a bit more to develop a so website. If they go to cumdy.com, they'll uh, they'll find that information. Yeah, yeah. certainly. I mean, cumdy.com will give you all the background information on the building, uh, on the community, and will also give you links into in, into the World Wide Web and uh, other stuff that we're doing around. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time, Dan. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Adam. Adam. <laughs> Can we try that again. Thanks very much for your time, Adam. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank Great you. stuff. Thank you. Take care. Bye.